convictions. And 74% of drug prisoners, GD, 74, white America would declare a state of emergency. Look at the triple fives, right? That's the three sisters, the three M's that we went over right here, right? The three representing the three fives, which pointed me all the way back to the three P's, right? The P that my angel Bay took, and he passed it off to Larry, sevenfold. The stone the builder rejected. You see that? Putting the clans back together. That's what he's telling me now. In order to see this, I got to know what's breaking the clans apart. Drug arrest, a percentage. Drug convictions, a percentage. And dr pr drug prisoners, a percentage. Right? So that's three things that I have to clear up. I got to address. This is what he's telling me. And I go to the next grievance. If whites comprise 17% of drivers on the Maryland state. Highway. But 70% of the drivers stopped by the police. Where white America would declare a state of emergency. Well look, you look at there. Somebody's telling me to address the police just skipping over people that don't look like us for people I mean for skipping yeah to for to pull over people that look like us. Now you see those two sevens, right? Right? See the two sevens. Now look, this he addresses it in Mary land. You know Mary is Isis. In the land of Isis He's telling the son, right, because the 10 is my birthday. Now you got the two sevens on the 10th page. See, so this is telling me it's my birthday. So I go back up here and I see the two sevens. So this gets my attention to say that the police need to be dealt with. They need to be dealt with. This is an important issue. This is a grievance I got to deal with. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, uh, if prosecutors sought the death penalty, look, oh man, hold on one second, y'all, flip it back over here, all right, now look, <clears throat> out the gate, I see that seven, out the gate, if prosecutors sought the death penalty, 70% of the time when a white person killed an African American, but only 19% of the time when it was reversed, white America would declare a state of emergency. That's valid. The prosecutor is the uh, legis is the uh, part of the uh, executive branch of government as well as the police. Now look at the page numbers. My birthday is 1110. Look at the now we're using the mirror. 10, 11, 11, 10. My birthday. This whole judicial system or, le, or what we call our uh, legislative branch is foul, is what Juanza Kunjufu is telling me. Right? Now look, Supreme Mathematics, the number 19. See? Got the seal of the number 19 that protects the holy workings. It's got this is sealed by the number 19. Right? So what this what this brother telling me, this is a direct order from the queen, because it's sealed. This is protected. You can't distort this. That means that whatever I go through, this got to it all gotta be congruent. So the next grievance is. If 40% Tupac council seat, if 40% of white males were illiterate in America, white America would declare a state of emergency. Now, remember I said Tupac council seat out the gate. Look, what did Tupac say? I didn't get all that power 
from guns. I got that power from books. Look, if the if now use the mirror. Tupac is saying to educate the black youth. That's what he's saying. This is from Tupac. Right? So then I go to the next one. What's the next grievance? Look, out the gate. Same thing. 13 at the top. The queen seat. That's the all C and I. If whites were 13% of the population, but 50, my council seat number, percent of those waiting on death row. This Suge Knight. That's my Suge Knight connection. So I'm all in the music industry now. So the next person that I identify has to have a deep connection or a deep uh, confirmation that these grievances are valid by connecting me to the music industry and the I-10, right? Well, we'll go over it. And y'all can see how many things match up, right? Death row. All right, then the next one. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing. It's, it's crowned by the queen. And it sits on the queen. Right? Now, you remember, I'm tied to Suge Knight, Sugar Bear, right? Through the Bear Clan, because when we did the blood right, it was the gorillas to the bears. So this is the B for blood. 13 is a B, right? So all of those things telling me, Suge Knight, they did Suge Knight wrong. That's what that's telling me. That Suge Knight shouldn't be locked up. That's what it's telling me. If whites were 13% of the population, queen, but 67% of the juveniles in adult courts, and look at the sevens, Percent of the juveniles in adult prisons, white America would declare a state of emergency. You goddamn right they would. What page is this? See the two sevens? This is directly for me to deal with. All right? So now, six and seven is 13. So this is an order. This is not negotiable between me and the queen. This is a direct order. The queen giving me an order. About the juvenile population. That's a direct order. The queen get an order. The king enforce it. That's right there. When you see a stack like that. 13 over 13. That's a direct order from the queen. Who's she talking to? The two sevens over the two sevens. Come on now. Now. What's the next grievance? If only one. Of every 13 white babies. Look. The queen seat again. Were born out of wedlock in 1965. Now it's telling me a date. I got to investigate. What happened in 65? Right? Manson. Charles Manson. Joseph C. They was being taught by M.K. Ultra. And San Quentin. In mind control programming. Right? So this is still taking me out west at the same time as vexing valid grievances. But seven of every ten, you see that? Seven, my number, of every ten, that's my, my date of birth, in 2001. Now he's calling me directly out again. 20 mo, the stone the builder rejected. Right? 20 mo. Space, because the zero, in this one, 21. That's the 21 brick pyramid. The infant mortality is killing the nation, is what he's telling me with this. That's what he's saying. That's where the doula center come in. It's more stuff in these. I can't read everything that I see to y'all, because it'll be, we'd be here forever. The next one is, if the life expectancy of white males... In Washington, D.C., Moores, Washita Moores, was only 57 years, and there was no state with a white male life expectancy greater than 70, 
years, white America would call it a state of emergency. That's crazy. See the seven. See the seven. Right? In the five point star. One and six to seven. And eight and eight. Sacrifice itself to bring attention to AIDS and HIV awareness. The same as Magic Johnson, who sacrificed himself um, for HIV and AIDS awareness. And then um, that's a common denominator because his number is 32. But Michael Jordan is number 23. And um, Michael Jordan. I'll get back to another time, but he passed his juice on to LeBron because he told everybody that had respect for him that he had respect for LeBron early on. So that gave LeBron um, the opportunity to get bumped. Now, what they got to do when they bump an athlete is they have to go playing. And then when they playing, they got to agree. The more, um, the more greats agree that he great, then the more... Um, Greatness he will absorb. It's just like that movie Fallen or like Juice with Tupac again, right? Who got the juice, right? So now, this sounds like that old story where Tupac whew, was that party little kid got shot and they tried to blame it on him. Now that's an injustice. So now, at this point, Pac made man, but they just hit him with an injustice. So what do that mean? That means he got to vex the grievance. He got to vex the grievance. If he don't vex the grievance, then he take responsibility. So the uh, 1995 uh, civil case was brought up by the quad uh, kid's mother. But this is quad. This talking about quad studio. The 95 quad studio shoot. Shakur lawyer said the, uh, the festival was a nasty situation. That mean they had it under control. Whatever went down in Quiet Studio was under control. And uh, Pac was happy he didn't nobody die. Now look, see how the color just changed? That's another message coming in. Now look, on November the 7th, that's the day my mother passed away last year. And that's my baby sister's birthday. And November the 10th month. That's three hits on that one on that one date. 1995. Look at the two sixes. So the one is telling the, 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 the man again to go do something. Right? And um look. Shakur's record company settled a lawsuit for a figure reported between three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars. Right, so that's telling me that there's a paycheck involved for solving this of between three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars. That's a bounty. That's why it's in gold, red, green, black, and gold, all of the colors of the rainbow that we need. This is a three this so this is a reward. This is a bounty. I'll take that. Somebody call Tupac to bring my shit so I can get this. Alright, now. Quad Studios brought me to this picture. Now, I want this is the bomb squad. And I know y'all know who the bomb squad is because that's who Stretch Walker, Biggie, and all them was doing music with down there quad and they was making and they was all over and these boys got bumped around knocked around by some real heavy hitters in the streets and the industry so all these dudes right here you looking at got the juice now this is little c's right here right and this is big stretch and look who this is this is my mirror for uh for for, for baby lane he a crypt though so it's two things that are like, but different. Two things are like that's different. Now, why would I think that this would be Baby Lane? I'm going to show you. Watch that picture while I pull the picture up. I want you all to study that picture for a minute. Let me get you a little closer to it. Yeah. 
y'all watch that. I'm going to put a picture of uh, a baby lane. Alright, y'all, now, I'm going to show y'all this, so y'all don't think I'm making this shit up. I'm the baddest motherfucker ever born. You can't run that bullshit on me. I'm not buying it. Now, I want y'all to see this dude in Baby Lane. See Baby Lane? I'm not making this bullshit up. I'm the baddest motherfucker you ever seen. So what are they telling me? They telling me to watch Death Row from this angle. That's what they telling me. Now look at look at his fist. You see his fist? His fist is telling me don't bleed the bullshit. I ain't really in on it. Now he's just telling me this on behalf of him. He ain't in on it. He innocent. Now why would I say that after everybody know what Keefy D said? Keefy D was, was turning me on to the prison. Because Keefy D is the coffee we drink, and I'm a big coffee drinker. We drink Keefy coffee in the joint. So a lot of people don't know that. So that's why they use Keefy D to get my attention. Now you know. I'm the baddest motherfucker ever born. I'm going to show you all this shit. Tell the FBI to hire me if they need an investigator. Oh, fuck. I own them bitches. I forgot. Ah. Fair kind, my mirror. Ah. Watch this. Watch this. Now, I want to see him in the MGM. Okay, look. First, I want y'all to see him here. Look what his shirt say. 88. That's the Queen's number. He ain't no gangbanger. He a prince. He identifying himself. Look what he got on right there. See that little crown? He's a prince. He ain't no motherfucking goddamn scraggly ass nigga off the street. Watch. I'm going to show y'all some more shit. Y'all be thinking I be making shit up. Show you motherfuckers, I'm the baddest motherfucker ever born. As soon as I find that nigga in Quad Studios, we gonna we gonna shake this motherfucker another degree. Shout out to Tadik Reviews. Look, now Mob James said he didn't want Tupac in in the Pie Rules. He bumped him left. Suge Wright bumped him right. Then, after Suge Wright bumped him, um, bump no, yeah, Suge Wright bumped him right. Everybody else tried to bump him left, and they couldn't. They said that's a solid motherfucker. That he the one said they didn't want him in there. But if they didn't really, if 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 he didn't, if he wasn't a stand up motherfucker, I don't fuck who wanted him in there. He can't get in. He can't get in. Mickey Rourke said Tupac was righteous. Right. That he see here, he one of the righteous ones. They gotta suffer the most. So that's why I've been suffering for 50 years before I come show y'all I'm the baddest motherfucker ever born. Cause I had to take more suffering than most. Cause I'm the baddest motherfucker to do this shit. So um What we got next? I'm looking for Baby Lane and Quad Studios. This is the mission we on right now, fam. We looking for Baby Lane and Quad. I'm just saying, this shit simple. Tupac decoded my ass. You, only a couple people know what's up, what's up. So anyway, um, you might have to watch the video.
Let's see no pictures of that shit. So Mike Tyson, um, being of the righteous, was bumped left by Don King. So but Don King bumped him out of all this shit. Um, because when he bumped Mike left, uh, he tried to make him take a dive. So Mike said, no. So then they bumped the girl, Desiree Washington, left, and then sent him at Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, not knowing the, uh, the way the game played, trying to follow what Cuz told